wheelchairs. Every day it helps hundreds of people get around from the disabled to the elderly. Well, the demand is so great that more than half of that service is contracted out to cab companies. Well, now some of those drivers say the demand on them is just too much. Yargal Turk tells us the problems are now affecting the clients. <laughs> uh oh. This is one of dozens of clients Haile Mibratu will pick up during his 12 hour shift today. It's what he does every day, six days a week. He has to. It's in the contract he signed with his cab company. So if you're not driving your car, you're not making money. I'm, it's not I'm not it's not only I'm not making money, I'm losing money. money. Because I have to pay my expenses. Those expenses total about four thousand dollars a month just in car payments, insurance and gas. Mebratu works for one of three taxi companies on contract with the TTC to provide accessible cab service. While he has no complaints about his company, he says the TTC schedule is almost impossible to keep up with. If drivers are late, they're dinged thirty dollars. Mebratu often eats in his cab and sometimes worse. Sometimes I've you never know, I might miss it in my pants. Oh Other my drivers God. CBC spoke to echo Mibratu's concerns, and they say it's the clients who also suffer. I have been in complete shaking, like, tears. And Kennedy relies on accessible taxi service to get to and from work at the Canadian Paraplegic Association, Ontario. I myself have been late by an hour, an hour and a half at times. And um, how do you explain that to your employer? Kennedy isn't alone. She says many of her association's members have had similar experiences. Lots of difficulties, people not getting to their um, destinations on time, people waiting for hours to get picked up. Both drivers and clients agree that changes need to be made. I call it frustration. I am done. I am fed up with this thing. You're fed up with what? Maribel joins us live now in studio. Maribel, what's being done about these complaints? I am fed well, up with this. Well, they've been taken to both the TTC and to City Hall, uh, and that is uh, through an advocacy group called iTaxi Workers Association. They represent some of these accessible cab drivers. They say that the uh, TTC pays these cab companies $80,000 each every month to do this supplemented service uh, for wheel trans. I also spoke with City Councillor Denzel Min in Wong. He's been a longtime advocate for taxi reform in this city. He he says he has had major concerns with the contracts that these cab companies have with the TTC. I'll have much more on that as well as the TTC's reaction as well uh, tomorrow on CBC News Toronto. Great series. Thanks, Maribel. Thank you. Well,